Hello, this is Satyanarayan here. Today we are going to study of FM demodulation using PLL technique. So this is the IC where you are using LM565 here. Let us see what is PLL IC565 is, how the range and how the VCO is capable of producing TTL components using dual power supply. There are different types of FM demodulators are available uh, like S-slope detector, Foster Sealy discriminator, ratio detector, pulse averaging discriminator, quadrature detectors and finally most popular face locked loops today we are going to study only this kind of technique what is demodulation of signal fm demodulation is a process of retrieving the modulated signals once the signal has been received filter and amplified it is necessary to recover the original modulation from the carrier it is this process that is called demodulation or detection let us see the circuit diagram description please go through it you can download the circuit diagram from the description here is the block diagram of the PLL technique uh, here we are going to use the FM demodulator in the demodulator you have to do the settings like this and the demodulator front panel is like this just learn how to operate this tips to get output mount IC 565 on the breadboard short pin 4 and 5 with a jumper wire plus VDC to 10 and minus VDC to pin 1 and common ground connect 6.8 kilo ohms between pin number 10 and 8 and 4.7 nano farad between pin number 9 and ground now you check on the CRO at pin number 4 square waveform if you got output then proceed assemble the remaining components like this see the output switch on the power supply see that it is plus or minus 12 volts as per this circuit diag it is very carefully how to do this one and the front panel sections are divided like this if you don't find this instrument you can go for FM modulation using double two zero six see the output you can get from pin number seven assemble the components like this see the resistor and capacitor which decides the VCO frequency of 10 kilohertz because we have designed FM modulation carrier frequency 10 kilohertz these two get matched this is very important now at pin number 7 see the output there are two waveforms displayed on the CRO on the top it is demodulated and bottom is the transmitted message signal connect CRO to pin number 7 to see this output once again monitor the CRO output I got the output so simple experiment electronics lab made simple this way thank you for watching if you like share and subscribe let us see some uh, applications for viva purpose purpose FS can FM demodulators, data tape synchronization, modems, frequency synthesizer, tone decoding, so and so. There are many applications. Thank you for watching this video. If you like, 
please subscribe and share with your friends i think it will be very useful for notes for notes check the description thank you